In this video, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to use, how to set up new um, property to your existing property. So adding room types and rooms and rates to rooms and room types that don't exist. Now, when you opened up your account, you opened it with uh, room types already listed and you already assigned rooms that you already had and probably the personnel did the mapping for you so you won't know how to do this um, and that is why we have this video. So first we're going to start off with adding a type. So I bought some more land right next to my hotel and I want to make a tent site. So put TS for code, sort order, I'm going to want it at the very bottom of my front desk, so I'm going to hit 5. I'm going to have more people for one tent site. I'm going to have up to 5 people per tent site that are allowed to book. Overbooking allowance, um, most of the time you'll want to leave this alone. If you if you go one way or the other, you'll end up with overbookings or all your rooms not re reserved, so or all your rooms not being used. So either way, you're losing money or you're losing money. <laughs> so unless you really, really know how to use this feature, I would leave it at zero. Otherwise, it can cause you a lot of headache. So we're going to hit OK. We're going to go into rooms. Technically, this isn't a room. It's a tent site, so I can name it Tent Site 1. I'm going to assign it to the tent site. Okay. Now, going back into room types, you're going to see this empty mapping ID. So, that's no fun. I'm going to go into and connect. I'm going to go to rooms and rates. I'm going to hit add a room type. I'm going to put tent site. And rental type, it's definitely not a room. Tent. New rate plan. Tent site. You just type something in here. A neat site for tents. Standard guests include two price, maximum guests will want to change this to five, say five people can enter the tent, uh, tent. since it's more people we want ten dollar extra adult charge and I can set the rest of this if I want to. So I'm going to go ahead and save changes. Now I'm going to go back over here, click on this. I'm going to hit list and I'm going to see tent site. So I'm going to click, drag, left click, drag, and hit control C, close. I'm going to go in here and hit control V and I'm going to hit OK. So now I just mapped my room, but I don't have any rates. So I'll need to go into rates, I'll need to hit add. I'm going to go up here, I'm going to say tent site. And tent sites are usually re relatively cheap. So there you go. $10 for additional people. And I set up to five, so I'm going to go there. Minimum stay two nights. And I'm going to go ahead and hit apply. Then I'm going to go into room types and I'm going to click on tent site. Then I'm going to go into channels and I'm going to hit in connect. And I'm going to go into taxes and choose whatever tax <clears throat> that I would like to go with this. So now I'm going to hit OK again and it's going to 
pop up there. Now, I don't want to send two rates to InConnect. So let's say I have this holiday special. You see how I have it disconnected from InConnect? It's because I don't want to send two separate rates of each room uh, type to the channels. So if I want to do a promotion, I will get on the booking.com or Expedia site and do a promotion there. But I do not want to select two separate rates for one room type and send it to InConnect. However, I can have a special if I want. And if they walk in, I say, hey, I got this deal. It's a discount. I can do that. So now we have the tent site. So let's go ahead, take a look if it showed up on our booking page. Now you see how it's at the bottom. It's a very low priority, low order. So it was on, on a low list, the sort order on both InConnect and also ingenious so the sort order puts it all the way down at the bottom you see that and then you can see my prices and you can see that I have five people that can rent a tent site but the minimum is two nights so if they're on a channel and they're searching for this if they only search for one night this isn't going to pop up on the channels because I have a minimum of two nights. So whenever you're checking booking.com or Expedia and you're like, hey, I'm not, I'm not listed, it might be because you have a minimum stay and you need to search for two nights, not just one. And that is it.